create a file and name it whatever you want .scss. In my example, I already have one called containerborders.scss. Hey there, and welcome to the Mendix How To's. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom classes using Calypso in SCSS. Before we start, it's important to remember that this guide is only for apps built in Studio Pro 8 and higher. In order to start styling responsive apps, you're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need to have Mendix Studio Pro version 8 or higher installed. You will also need to have Calypso downloaded and set up on your device. And finally, you will need to have another code editor set up. I prefer to use VS Code because it's free and easy to use. Once you have everything set up, you will have to start Calypso so it can watch for changes in your style sheets. Simply open Calypso and browse for your app collection file. Select the file where all your Mendix apps are and click Select Folder. Next off, make sure it's listening to the correct project by selecting your app folder from the drop down menu. Finally, make sure it's listening to styles web sas.scss and click start. Calypso is now listening for any changes made to your style sheets. Now, open up your project file in your code editor. In the left hand side project explorer, navigate to your theme folder, look inside styles, web, sas, app for your custom.scss file. In your app folder, create a file and name it whatever you want .scss. In my example, I already have one called containerborders.scss. Here is where you can add whatever CSS or sas code you want. I'm not that good at SAS, so I'm going to stick to regular CSS. I'm just going to add one class for homepage boxes, which sets the width of the container to be 100%, as well as adds a box shadow to the class. Next up, we need to add our class name. Before you can add your class name to the elements in Studio Pro, we need to make sure this new file is being imported into your app correctly. In order to do this, navigate to custom.scss and we need to add an import line here to import our file created previously. Simply type at import, open up quotes and then give the file name you created in my example is container borders. No need to provide the file extension here. Make sure to save all your files before proceeding. Now back in Studio Pro we can add the class names to our elements. Open up the container or element you want to add it to and go to the appearance tab. You can then place the class name in the class field. Click OK. Before we run our app, let's take a look at what it looked like previously. And after we run our app, our changes should take effect. You can see the container is set to its full width, as well as the box shadow that we added. And that's everything. The world of front-end and design is vast, and you can never truly know everything. But with these basic skills, you should be able to start styling your first responsive web app. So what are you waiting for? Go make it, but with some style. 